Have you ever wanted to be a freelancer or do some freelance work just to boost your income? Well, on this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to get freelance work for beginners. Hello, everyone. I'm Rick with GoodIncomeStreams.com and the author of Invest Like the Rich. And on this video, we'll be discussing how to get freelance work for beginners. Now, I understand during these trying times, some people have either lost hours on their job or some who have lost their job because business has been very slow. Well, on this video, we don't want to just discuss what you can do or how to go about it, but to actually even show you exactly how to sign up. Now, I understand some people may be wondering, how do I go about becoming a freelancer? How do I know I can, I can get clients and I can get paid for it? Well, there's a few ways to go about it but I want to do it the most easiest way and to do it online. So there are a lot of freelance um, platforms out there. The ones that I'm going to talk about is the ones like Upwork, Freelancer, or even Fiverr. And I'm even going to show you videos on how to sign up for them and how to start advertising so that you could earn an income. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to figure out what type of freelance work are you going to do? Now, I know there's a lot out there and you could just blanket and do everything. But then again, that's not going to work out real well. I'd rather you focus on one, maybe two, three at the most different industries or different types of freelance work. I want you to get good at certain ones so that way you can actually make really good money. So let's just say, for example, you're a writer or yeah, let's say you're an architect or some you're good at animation or even with computers so well with this example with the videos that I, with this video I chose being a writer now I'm not a good writer I mean I've been able to write here and there a little bit but I usually hire somebody to help me with that so let's just say you're a writer you're good at it then I suggest you become a freelance writer whether it's gonna be for like blogs you can write articles for blogs you can do um, writing people's books or just being a ghostwriter or anything else out there you can make some good money now sure some people i mean like let's just say for example like on fiverr they start at five dollars and i do believe you, you can charge from anywhere from five dollars the minimum all the way to like 995 dollars or something like that like five dollars shy of a thousand but it's there so you can make money that and this is per job of course not per hour so you're going to sign up first with Maybe you should sign up for Fiverr or Upwork or any of those. I want you to also look at getting your name out there. Now, how do these big companies get their name out there? Like, let's just say it's a, those, one of those large soft drink companies. Now, everybody knows about that, right? And how do they get their name out? So they advertise on TV, they advertise on radio, and they even advertise online. Now, I'm not saying you do the same because that's very costly. So if it's very costly, then why am I talking about it? It's like, well, that's an idea. So for me, instead of me using my money to pay for something, I like to use my skills. Now, what do I mean by that? So let's just say you found a company or a blog, for example, and you notice that one of their articles on their blogs or maybe several of their articles on their blogs is not that great. And you think you can do a better job. Well, what you can do is you can reach out to the owner of that blog and tell them, you know what? Would it be possible for me to rewrite your articles on some of your blogs? If you like it, it won't cost you anything. However, I would like a nice testimonial from you. When you get that testimonial, what you can do is you can advertise, you can show that as proof to some of your clients or your possible clients. And this will give you social proof that you are for real, that you are a writer, then you're not a beginner or you're not somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. Now, of course, this only works if you know what you're doing. So now you have social proof that you are a legit writer and then you signed up for these um, platforms. Now, you don't have to necessarily follow the ones that I'm going to show you. You can sign up for any of them. You can sign up for all of them. There's so many out there. I just picked three and I did a video on it. Now, there are others out there and I will just show, I will put a list over here to show exactly how, all the ones that I could pull up. But for the most part, what I just did was I just picked three and it it came up to upwork.com, freelancer.com, and fiverr.com. Now, just to let you know now, fiverr.com is my, my go-to. They're the ones that I usually use for the most part. But the other, um, the other companies or the other platforms are just as good. All these platforms are free. However, there are options to pay. Now, I suggest you don't 
do the, um, the paid one until you are used to it or you know that you can make more money because what we're trying to do is we're trying to make money instead of spending more money, right? So I suggest you start with the free accounts. So all these accounts can be, the ones that I'm going to be showing you are free. And what you do from there is you start advertising, you start showing people, you start pushing. So some of them, you will have like a little virtual store, whereas to others, you will have to put in bids. So instead of delaying this, what we want to do is jump into this computer and show you exactly what we're going to do. So the first one we're going to start with is going to be with, you're going to type in Upwork.com and then you're going to click sign up. Or you can also do get started. And then you can either go with continue with Google or you can type in work email address. Now, once you do that, make sure you're in the United States or whatever country you're in, if work as a freelancer, and then and you can click yes, I understand and agree and go continue. It's going to redirect you. First, it's going to tell you to fill out your profile. So make sure that you fill out your profile thoroughly and accurately. Then you submit, and you usually receive a, an email within 24 hours. Now, that didn't happen to me, and I just did this. So it should be faster than 24 hours. Now we're going to pick. So there's a lot of services that you can do. I mean, there's like the one I said, engineering architect, but we'll just do design and creative. So let's just say animation, graphics and design, um, video production and motion graphics. I don't know, I'm just picking whatever. And we can, so what skills do you offer? Do you offer clients? So let's just say we're going to put in writing, I guess. So hmm, copywriting sounds good. Let's try um, maybe blog writing. Mm -hmm. um, maybe like a book. Book writing sounds good as well. And we can also do book editing. Now it says that we can do 10, and there's six more that we can do. Thinking of doing local animation it's getting ridiculous but let's just move forward but you can put up to 10 skills now the expertise level if you're not that good then you should go entry level but for me i just picked intermediate now we're going to add our education over here you're going to put in whatever education you have so i'm going to be i'm going to put university of hawaii because that's what we have here in hawaii we have our college um, then area of study I'll just put technical writing I guess I mean I don't know I'm just trying to fill this in now degree it's optional but you can put I suggest you put that if you have something and then you can fill out when you attend it so if that's good then you're gonna continue work experience so I'm just gonna write that I worked at University of Hawaii as, as I guess as a teacher mm. I'm trying to think maybe uh, as a professor I guess nah, good enough yeah and then my role is lead Just making up stuff, so I'll just say uh, January 2016, so July 2019. Or, you know what, let's just say I currently work here. That sounds even better. So now we have to fill out the description. This is optional, of course, but I'm just trying to come up with something. So you can, you can literally put anything you want here. The more descriptive you are, the better. So that way they can see. And then click next. Now, my English, of course, is fluent. So uh, my proficiency is fluent. Now you can add a language and all that. But for now, we'll just hold off on that. Oops. Let me go remove that. Click next. Now we're going to do our hourly rate. So with $10 an hour, they take two. $2 off. 
because I guess they take 20% off the first $500. So I don't want to be making $8 an hour. So let's change this up. Let's make it 15. That sounds better. So we, we get $12 an hour. Okay, now let's click next. Now we're going to do... So let's browse the profiles first and figure out what we're going to type in. So um, let's just say we'll do article and blog writing. Now you want to make sure that whatever you chose as part of your services, you want it to match with your profile. You want everything to be matching. So that way you it's there's some cohesion. You want you want everything to be to look good. You don't you don't want to just slap things together, right? You want you want whatever you your um whatever your background is will work together with whatever you're trying to sell, right? Whatever you're trying to do as a freelancer, you want it to kind of jive. I mean you can put in more, but try and make sure that you capture whatever you're trying to do. So if you're trying to be an editor or trying to be a ghostwriter, I want you to make sure that that's somewhere in your profile or that, like some kind of experience because then they will be like, oh, okay, so he's done ghostwriting or he's done editing on books or something like that, right? You want to make sure that it's there somewhere. So now we're going to put in for experience, experience, article, uh, oops, sorry, wrong spelling, and blog writer. Sounds good. Okay. Now we have to put, oh, for over here, the professional overview, I'm just going to write something up. And uh, don't mind me, I don't, I'm just coming up whatever I can think of. So it might not make sense. Uh, I do believe there's some kind of limit. Um, I think it was 100, or is it 150 characters? So I'm pretty sure I made it already over 200 characters. So I should be okay. Now for the street address, so you're going to put your ad actual address here. I'm not sure if they allow PO boxes, but you want to make sure that your address is accurate because you want to get paid. You want the money to come to you, right? And now there's a verification phone number. So this one, you're going to have to use a cell phone because they will send you a code. So they send you a text message, so now you have to put it in. So mine is 73291. And don't copy it because it changes every time. So that's good. Then you click view profile and you will see everything. You see the thumbs up and all your stuff. Now make over here it says make sure everything is correct prior to clicking the submit profile. Okay. So make sure everything is good, double check everything first, and then you're gonna click Submit Profile. You can edit or you can make some changes to it later on, but it will look weird that you put your, you put your profile on public, but you have mistakes or it doesn't jive or there's misspellings. So always make sure that you look professional because first impressions, right? You always wanna make a really good first impression to your possible clients. And going back, it says here, your profile has been switched to public. Clients will be able to see you in search results again. Continue earning on Upwork to keep your profile visible. Okay. Now, so now we're going to be looking at some of these jobs. Magazine layout, after logo. There's a design for a new company logo. There's um, whiteboard explainer videos, a videographer. For video production, I mean, you have post editing needed for small video. I mean, there's so many out there. Let's see, click more. Can make positive, motivating videos for my beautiful, whatever that was, YouTube animations, video editor. So there's a lot. So let's go back up. Also, make sure that. Make sure you add your social links so that way you can be you can look good and then you can also preview your profile you can also 
go up top and find work and these are your tab for your my jobs the reports and your messages and i guess that's direct contracts so that's pretty much everything now before we jump on to the next platform i want to make sure that you understood everything and if you have any questions please don't forget to leave a comment down below with your questions and i'll be sure to give you an answer as soon as i possibly can now if you're enjoying this video please don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell so that youtube will notify you the next time i post another video now going back we're going to go into freelancer.com now with freelancer.com you're going to type that in on the in your search bar and then you're going to hit earn money freelancing now you can go with facebook or you can just type in your email address so then you're going to make a password then you're going to click i agree then join freelancer now you're going to pick a name so whatever username you want to use and then you're going to click i want to work so over here is the skills and you can pick up to 20. So in, in these skills, you can just click as many as you want, up to 20. And so you can have skills in different areas. You don't have to necessarily be in, like mines, I always try to pick the writing because I don't know, I just, I like, that's one of my goals is to become a writer, to become a good writer, but yes. Right now, so we have SEO writing and we're looking through all this. There's a lot. So we have engineering. I mean, if you're an engineer, you're product sourcing, you can do that as well. Sales and marketing. Great. And don't forget though, you have to scroll down over here as well. There's more. Not just whatever you see in your screen. There's way more. So like, look, there's Facebook shops. And there's even more over here but so now let's just say affiliate marketing and we're just gonna go next so we're gonna type in our name and the languages we speak and you can go to beginner but i think i'm gonna choose intermediate again now you can put advanced as well if you're really good at this now select the method of payment now you might be wondering wait why select a method of payment I'm supposed to be getting paid, not me paying out, but you'll see in a moment, okay? I'm getting back. So over here, it says, why should I verify payment? It gives you higher trust score, you get paid faster, and you rank higher. Plus, you get a free trial membership for one month. Now, we're going to sign in with our PayPal, because I chose PayPal, but you could use your card as well. You're going to log into your PayPal.com, type in your password. Oops, I made a mistake. Let me try that again. And click login. Typed in the wrong password. Over here, you can do your card or PayPal credit. Did card. Ah, you know what? I think I want to go back to PayPal. Where should I go back to PayPal credit? So I changed it. So now we're doing PayPal credit. So you're going to agree to pay. So this one, you get a one month free trial. However, um, we're just going to skip that for now because we don't want to spend the money. Okay. So here you can search for projects, you can place bids and you can get awarded. Then you start earning money. Affiliate marketing, $30 to $250. I guess those are the bids right now. And I don't always recommend being the cheapest, but then again, that's totally up to you. If you want, if you really want to win the bids, so let's see, let's go with the fewest bids. Because then that means less competition. So I don't understand those. Let's go affiliate marketing, project. Affiliate networking, oops, I don't understand those. Let's 
see here. This goes to Linux on that Amazon thing. Okay. Let's talk about the earning WordPress site. Information based work. Uh, business to business. Ah, let's just click on something. B2B, business to business, international sales. Right. Now, I want you to make sure now that you confirm your email and update your profile. Okay, so over here, if you look at it, it says set up your account. There's 25 free to work. I'm only at 25%, meaning there's a lot more things to do. So it says here to verify the email address. So you're going to go verify it and you update your profile. Then you can start placing your bids. So before you start placing bids, you got to make sure that you do all of that first. So I know I didn't do that, but um, I just wanted to just show you what, what needed to be done. So as you can see here, there's over 17 million jobs that are posted. So that means there's a lot of jobs out there. You just have to hustle. Okay, now getting back. Now let's go to fiber.com. This one you're going to type in fiber.com and you're going to click join. You're going to type in your email address and then you're going to click continue. Or you can do continue with Facebook, Google, or with Apple. Now we're going to pick a username. Oops, that's right. I got to add the one because I already did this last time and my files got damaged. Type in a password and then I'm going to click next. Now we're going to go into my email, a quick one to activate the account. So you got to confirm to make sure that everything is good. So because I confirmed it with the email, now I can become a seller. So you can over here, there's 50 million, over 50 million transactions. There's, there's a lot. So create a gig, deliver. So there's a video over here that you can watch. And then now we're at the Q&A. What can I sell? So you can be creative. And there are over 200 categories you can browse. How much money can I make? You can make as much as you want up to a full-time job. And if it's free, how much does it cost? It's free, but they, you keep 80%, they keep 20. How much will I need to invest? That part is up to you. You decide for yourself what you want to invest. And then prices, you can price anywhere from $5 to $995. And they usually like you to do three versions so that way you have yeah the customer has options to choose from and then how do I get paid you don't have to chase around the money will come is transferred to your account as soon as you complete the order you don't have to chase anybody okay let's get started so here you can learn what makes a successful profile then you're going to create your seller profile and then you're also going to publish your gigs this is an overview we're going to learn what makes a successful seller profile so make sure you have a picture description and professional information and then you add credibility you accurately describe your profession your or your skills put your picture and then you want to make sure it's secure now this is the part that they do not like you to do they don't like you to be misleading they don't like you to open duplicate accounts they don't want you to solicit from other fiber members and of course requesting to take payment outside of fiber that's a big no no they don't like that you will get banned and you won't be able to get back on so right now let's see i'm gonna just do my profile picture first i mean yeah i'm supposed to put in my name but uh, let's just see i right hear my pc for uh, i lost my pictures that's right i was cleaning my computer i guess i'll just put this for now okay okay rick Linden, Linden, and a description. So anything with this red asterisk, now we gotta remember we have to fill it out. So this one requires 150 characters for the description. Master's degree in language and arts. I have written hmm, four books. Nah, written and published five books. Let's say five. Sounds like a good number. I also have. Mm, ghost written. 
course written books, of course written over 50 books for different clients. And one at 145, I need at least five more characters. Okay, I would like to help like your first book or if you have or if you already have written one then then I would love to help edit your book or maybe even write your your next one next book uh, 292 that's more than 150 that should be good now let's see here English I'm gonna I'm gonna put fluent of course because I speak fluent English and then you can add another language Filipino you know what never mind let's just keep it like that continue um, occupation I guess I'm gonna write, go writing and translation again Let's see here. So let's go from 2016 again to hmm, present 2020. So this says two to five of your best skills in writing and translation. So uh, uh, writing, sounds crappy. Hmm, good enough. Okay, now for the skills. So I need to list skills so make sure you list your skills oh good this one has help you can put intermediate for ghostwriter and then oh look it gives you options content writing i'm just going to put beginner on that article writing i'll put beginner on that as well and that sounds good already Okay, let's see, University of Hawaii, there it is, title, I'll just put uh, Masters, I'll just leave it at Masters, um, yes, we can put Language and Art, oh, oh, English Language then, I'll just choose that, okay, next, Let's say I graduated back in 2015. Click add. Uh, now for my certification. Well, there's no red asterisk. You know what? We don't need to do all that. But oh, personal website. Now I'm gonna advertise my website. So you can put something here if you have your website. So this one will come in really handy because if you have those testimonies there when pe when your clients click on it, especially if it's something on video, then you will look more legit okay continuing so now we're going to go with the linked account so if you can link your accounts if you have some social presence i suggest you put that in now we're gonna put in our phone number since i already did my email now that's gonna be verified by sms so you're gonna get another text message again so my code now we're going to select a security question so let's just say what my childhood nickname, I guess Rick, good enough. And then we'll continue and create. So if everything's good, click finish. Now you can watch the online freelancing essentials to help to be a successful Fiverr seller. So if it's a video, okay, I'm not we're not gonna listen to it because uh, I don't want I want to go I don't want to have to listen to this whole video because it's very long but it's free and I so I suggest you watch this on your own because this will be very helpful and if you look um, you have people that see you have some you get some five stars the course was really helpful and guided me for being a good freelancer it helped me a lot to update my profile all the small points and no there's a lot up here so I suggest you take advantage of these because these that will help you so let's get out of here let's go back so we're finished now we can put a gig up 
It's a gig title. So it will help you edit your book. And proofreading and editing. Now let's see here. We're going to go to service type first. We're going to be proofread and edit. Language, of course, I'm going to choose English. And then content type, article, and let's just say book. So then here's the tags. So for the tags, you can pretty much put anything. So I'm going to choose ebook. Mm -hmm. Proofread. So I can do five tags on this. Just very good, but I'll stop at three. That's good enough. But I suggest the more the more tags you can put in, the better for you. So now we're gonna go to the scope and pricing. This is how you price. So over here there's a a video. <clears throat> So for this one, this is tax me, Taxi Pick Me Up. And if we look, we can see that there's the basic, standard, and premium packages. So right now we're looking at the premium and then looking. So you can check any of these boxes. That's up to you. Make sure you just match them up correctly. And then once you get all that, so you have your, <clears throat> you can, I mean, I suggest you watch this again. Um, through fiverr.com they they really do explain all of this really well and you can just pick whatever i mean you know they're a lot more helpful on this i'm just trying to get you to get started so here you can see it says ten dollars for the basic which is intro package and then fifty dollars for the standard but you can see that there's more stuff to it and then when you go to the premium it's like almost everything is there so you want to do something like that, like what would be the most and what would be the least you would do. That way you can have your tiers. And then you can also even add extra jobs if you want. But yep, that's pretty much it. We're going to close this out. I know I went over the tutorial part very quickly, but that was just so that you can get signed up. And if you have any questions, you can always leave me a question in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you the next time I upload another video. Now, I'd like to say mahalo for watching this video and remember to always strive for financial independence. And until the next time, aloha.